Welcome to the Wall Street Crossover Show, brought to you by Tip TV in conjunction with our sponsors, Admiral Markets. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Mr. Darren Sindon, market commentator for Admiral Markets. Uh, morning to you, Darren. Morning, Nick. Um, if anyone's watching for the first time, um, what was the idea behind this program? Um, really, just to uh, to provide. Uh, viewers and anyone else who's interested but with a with sort of bridge between what's happening in the European markets and what we expect to happen um, in the US markets just to give them a few pointers and ideas about what to look out for um, in you know in the second most important session of the day. Understood. Well clearly a good session in Europe this morning on the back of the latest Greek developments. Well the, the equity markets have certainly uh, you know interpreted it as such. Um, for, for our standpoint I, I'm still um, skeptical I am yeah you know yep. we, there's a, a, a broad framework if you like it's been agreed um, the terms of which are very loose um, where the Greeks are going to conjure up 50 billion euros worth of, uh, of assets to, to put down as collateral against this uh, this fund that the EU want them to uh, to create is anyone's guess if they had 50 billion of decent assets lying around yeah. they would have done something with them already so anyway we'll see um all, all the proposals are subject to ratification by uh, various parliaments probably the two most important though being the greek and german parliaments um and we'll know more about uh, how how that's going uh, by Wednesday really. Understood. Okay well we've got a number of slides to go through. Let's go to the first slide. Data released over the European session. Okay. Um, what's caught your imagination if that's the right word this morning? Away, away from the Greek story which we'll come to in a moment. Um, balance of trade data from China. Another wilder sort of slightly erratic figure if you will from China. Um, a, a positive balance 46.4 billion was the was the number released but that was uh, sharply below uh, the 55.7 billion that was forecast and the prior read of, of a positive 59.4 billion so um that they can be a bit wild these these china balance of trade numbers i i can't offer you an explanation as to why there's such a big miss um and we can't just take one number in isolation either but uh, um it will be another you know concerning data point for those who are bearish on china and you know worrying about whether we're going to ultimately have a hard or a soft landing as the economy can continues not necessarily to cool but just come perhaps to, to a more normalised level of growth. Um, so, you know, keep your eyes peeled from there. Um, and as we already just said, a uh, framework for a Greek deal was announced this morning. Um, basically, the Greeks have caved. Uh, the, the deal that's on offer is much worse than the one that they rejected in their national referendum just over a week ago. As I say, that one of the key things here is they've got to stump up uh, or, you know, Put, effectively put up 50 billion euros worth of decent assets as collateral into a, a fund that the uh, it's going to be administered by uh, the Eurozone um, and ultimately they'll try and sell those assets off to help pay down um, some Greek debt and recapitalise the banking sector. I, it just strikes me as wishful thinking. I know uh, Sokjian have commented on the uh, on the deal today and they retain their 65% chance of a, a Greek exit stance. That's what they're saying. It doesn't okay. make any difference. Whereas the bookies have gone 12 to 1 on that there will no Greece will not exit yep, the so, EU this so year. Diverse opinions on this subject mm. as ever. Um, what it's meant for, for Europe was a, a sharp bounce in European equity markets, uh, particularly in the DAX, um, but also in the stock 600, the broader uh, measure of European equities. What's perhaps slightly surprising though is that bonds and the currency Prices. have been subdued. There was a, an initial spike in the euro against the dollar, um, but it's sold off from that high and it, and it hasn't really looked like uh, it wants to play ball again. So the currency markets would appear to be sceptical. Equity markets seem to like it. Um, as I say, we'll, by, the, by Friday we'll have a, a much clearer deal, or, idea of what's going to happen. Wednesday is the deadline for Greece now to get the um, new legislation or the proposed legislation voted Sanctions. through their parliament. Understood. So.